Thanks for tuning into the Christmas special of Eland Man TV. It's blowing outside and it's windy and it's cold and I'm sitting out in the garage trying to put this movie together. So on tonight's episode, I'm going to tell you about Santa Claus, what he brought me, and I've been on the bad list for many years and I'm going to show you with small clips from the year what it took for me to get Santa Claus to put me on the good list this year because we were nice. You know, guys. I've been down a lot of roads, talked to a lot of people, and did a lot of things. And that's why I'm one of the greatest storytellers of all times. Because I've been there, and I've done that, and I know what it's like to be in those situations. But as a kid, I was inspired by the Dukes of Hazards. You know why? Because the two cousins were driving around in a cool car, drifting playing on the back roads and then they always learned how to do something to help the community out and boss hog and roscoe always tried to get them for being bad but somehow they never really got them because the boys did stuff for the community and that's what it's all about helping the community out. But some people didn't like that i like the dukes of hazards all because the boys run around with a confederate flag on the roof and you know what I never looked at the Confederate flag as something bad. I just looked at the General Lee as, look at the car sliding around on the side of the road. Because I thought that was pretty cool. And you know what? That's what it's all about. Having fun and helping the community out. That's why we learn how to do it. And if I could have DJ Khaled sitting beside me, you know what he would say about the General Lee? The General Lee! Iconic, legendary. So, the Christmas special is entitled The Great Santa Claus Chase, named after the 1980 Dukes of Hazzard's Christmas special. Now, here's the plot of the show. Boss hires a trio of criminals to hijack a load of Christmas trees bound for Hazard, knowing that Bo and Luke were responsible for all the deliveries and a receipt of a $500 down payment with the community convinced that the Dukes had stolen the funds, the crooks in each other dressed as Santa Claus and break into Boss' safe to retrieve the stolen money. Bo and Luke Cooter eventually team up to give Boss and the bad guys a lesson in confusion. In the end, Boss, who played the parrot of Scrooge throughout the episode, gets a lesson in the morning, gets a lesson in the meaning of the season. <laughs> and you know what? That's what this episode's all about. I've worked pretty hard this year to become the new safety coordinator for Sands. And guess what? I worked real hard to get here, but you know what? I had to avoid the bad guys like just like Bowen Luke had to do, and we had to do, and we had to do some confusion. And that's what I do. I talk to you with some confusion, but in the end, I'm the new safety coordinator, and we're going to keep on doing good things. So you watch the show to see how we got here. Let's see what these clips look like. I'll work with you to build a trail about the the Fall River. <laughs> Standing on top of Maritoff Mountain. All the way up. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Eland Man TV. I'm just standing out Chester Road at the fire station in the middle of a helipad. And you know what? I'm not staying here too long because there's a helicopter flying over there. I don't think it's coming in landing. Suspension's working. Hey, how's it going? Elan man here. I'm pretty excited. You see that over there? That's my old 1979 Skidoo Olympic. Jason's dad rebuilt her like 10 years ago. And it was gone for me for a long time. I just got it back before our last vintage sled show for the Hand Snow Dusters 2017. And I'm excited because Jason Moore, Do 250, cameraman, said, you know what? We're going to slap a motor in that thing. And I said, I know what we can do. We're going to have a track blow at the 2018 Hans Snow Dusters Vintage Sled Show. So what we're going to do, we're slapping a motor in it right there. 16 twin out of an Elan. We're coming up with a pipe. We're putting a turbo on it, piping her into the carburetor. We're going to try to build a two-stroke turbo sled from 1979. And then... We're going to hook this to a piece of metal in a chain. We're going to blow the track off her, all in efforts to raise money for the Nova Scotia youth snowmobilers. And, and sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, and 
Russell, re Russell will remember this pretty well, I think. I, I told Don that 10 years ago, if you would have said that I was getting rewarded at, at the Sands Banquet, that nobody would have showed up. <laughs> right? But... Hey guys, how's it going? Eland Man here. I'm all loaded up. We're heading out to Go Power Sports in the morning. They're open house. Hand snow dusters, we're going to be set up hey, there. How's it going? We're heading to Go Power Sports. I got the Mustang all loaded up. I had to run home to get this chair because I don't know if they're going to have a chair up there. But as you can see, <clears throat> hardly any room in this Turn trunk. Signs. Got some signs I repoed this summer. Someone stole off the trail and I found them. Gonna have them on display today. But we got trail maps from all the zones here. Oh, this thing is ah, mud from the clubhouse. There we go. All right, we're ready to go. See you guys at go. Run into Napa, Windsor and pick up a book of classic trail permits to take up with us in case someone wants to get one before the show. We made it up to go power sports. Park below the sign out here on Main Street in Minus. It's early in the morning and it feels like there's going to be snow in the air. We're hoping it's not going to be rain. Well, sitting out here at the Brooklyn Petrocan, I was just inside and man, they got some fried chicken in there. It smells so good. But I guess I'm deciding to go down to the drift climb at the Little White Hall, no road. So we'll see how we make out down there. Even though that chicken inside smells good. <sighs> we just pulled up to the Drift Climber Supper down here and I found the little white hall on the old road. Looks like there's quite a few people inside. Let's go inside see if we can stir them up for a bit before we head back to Hazard Town and get some food. I really hope it's better than this fried chicken at Brooklyn Petro Oh, wait. Oh, man. The Drift Climber Supper was wicked. I was skeptical because... See that up there? That's Brooklyn Petrocan. And they got fried chicken for sale. And right here, I'm standing, which could potentially be the old rail line through Manaway that goes all the way through to Kennecook, where I just came down through from. And if we do get a snowmobile trail through here in the future, Brooklyn Petrocan is right up there. And they sell fried chicken and Chinese food on the weekend. And behind me, down that way, is the Manaway store. And they sell some dirty, good cheeseburgers i'll tell you right now they come with two patties it's basically like a mcdouble only like a country mcdouble and i'll tell you right now uh the Maritime Vintage Sleds, going to hook the old, uh oh, going to hook the old track, motor up in the old one. Bonjour and hello. Hi, Jeremy Cromwell here, aka Eland Man. I am the president of the Hans Snowduster Snowmobile Club, and now I've just taken a new role on as the safety coordinator for the Snowmobile Association of Nova Scotia, and that just blows me away. Some people are like, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. Well, for me, I've been on Santa Claus's naughty list for many years for the things that I've done. And I must be doing something right now. So it just blows me away. So I don't even, I'm just speechless. I've made like four videos now trying to get this all spit out. So I'm just blown away like you guys don't even know so all I just want to let you know is coming up January 20th to 28th is snowmobile safety week and we're going to put something together for it 
We're going to be announcing the topic on that first of the year to let you know what's going to happen. I'm putting something together for the Nova Scotia youth, for the youth ride. We're going to be talking about that. And for me, we're recreating Sled Ed with the Landman. And we're going to start putting together some small comedy skit videos about safety. And it's just going to go from there. So thank you, Sands, for giving me this opportunity. Because this just... Merry Christmas. So I just found out not long ago that I'm going to Cape Breton for Rod for Dad the first weekend in March. And I want to know what Cape Breton's all about before I even go there. So I got this Control IRC Piston Bully for Christmas from Santa Claus. And we're going to try it out. Only this groomer was .00014 of what percent it actually cost in Cape Breton. So we're going to try it out and see how it works. So I know what's happening before I even go there. Yo oh ho! Come on, let's push this now. I'm trying to control this thing with one hand and take a video at the same time. I hope you guys had as much fun watching those videos as I had doing those things. And guess what? You can do it too. It's not that hard. I always say if I can do it, you can do it. And guess what? Today, by one of Hazard County's greatest mentors, he told me I was following in the steps of my Uncle Ed. So, Uncle Ed, I got your helmet dug out. Great things are about to happen in 2018. So just stay tuned to Elan Man TV. I'm going to record it. And guess what? You guys can get involved too. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching Elan Man TV. Thanks, Uncle Ed. Well, I better buckle this up for the last clip. And like John Schneider says, Yeah! <laughs> Yeah!